working man, it sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Souls Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, buddy? Edward, uh, we have a really funny guest today. Uh, not only a funny comedian, but also just funny in general. Really fits the brand of this show. Absolutely. So without any further ado, the one we're not leave. making it. Uh, Chris, <laughs> well, basically, <laughs> having to work. Chris, what is the worst job you've ever had while pursuing stand up? Uh, while pursuing stand up? Oh boy. Um, or, 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 or in general. general. Or worst. Still worst job. I worked for GNC one for a semester in college. I love it. And then I got fired. So GNC, everybody, if you don't know, because uh, now Amazon probably is where everyone gets their supplements, it was the place to yeah. be. As yeah. far as like in the early aughts. If you were a trainer or you're trying to get ripped, people lived in GNC. I, I had the hookup. I had the, the company discount and I hooked up all like the football players. <laughs> Every month I would be like, yeah, I need, 30, I need 30 about the protein bottles. Uh, they're like, you do all yourself? I'm like, yeah, all myself. I need this. Uh, Sacred Heart University. Okay. Fairfield, Connecticut. Now, did you work out? Were you like, were you jacked? I mean, you look like no, a big guy I, still. I work out, but like, it was just because I, they knew, I, I played baseball. So like, they knew I was, and I worked for, one time they, one of the football players went in there one day and saw me. Oh. And he was like, oh, you work here? You get discount? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. He goes, oh, I need to hook you up. Hook me up, bro. And I was like, all right, whatever. And then I got fired one day. <laughs> What did you get fired for? Um, I guess. Well, I hated the job to begin with. It's a it's a bad retail job. It's not a fun. And the guy that ran it was like this like this guy that like this was his, this was his thing. Like he was gonna he, he was gonna run multiple GNCs. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he had a five year yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, I just want to go to Vegas. I need money. <laughs> I need money to go to Vegas <laughs> <laughs> in the summer. So I need to work a little bit. Yeah. And uh, so he, when you get in, when you go in there, I was told every time you're supposed to turn on both computers. Turn on both cash. I'm sorry, both cash cash registers. And when I went in there one day, I was by myself. I was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna turn on one." Yeah, uh, I'll do one of them. And yeah. then I guess it didn't, the money didn't register from the fucking credit cards. <laughs> so all morning I was swiping credit cards, and, and then people no were not paid. getting charged the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> And what's funny is in GNC, you're talking about, I mean, same thing these days, but we're like 70, 80 bucks for a whey protein Yeah, but I also wanted to tub. be like, I also, I also didn't want to argue with them because I, I wanted to get fired anyway. Oh. I wanted to be like, really? You can't figure it out? Isn't right. You can't all, figure out the cash register. Like, right. like you're GNC, you're worth how many billions of dollars? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can't figure out <laughs> why a two need to be on. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah. Uh, and they were, and they, were, they were just like, you got to go. And I was like, all right. Isn't that a working we'll class whole kind of thing? Where That's you're like, so good. I hope to get fired. I hope to get fired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, the guy was like, you got to give, you got to give us your uh, key back to the store. And I, the key was back in my apartment. Yeah. So I had to go back to my apartment. All my boys were there. And I was like, yo, I got fired. Give me a, I like shotgun the beer. And then I had to go back to the place. <laughs> beer breath, be like, here you go. There you go. Have fun. I just always love like when I'm working at a place like that, that's a franchise and it's a, another working class dude that owns it and he's ambitious but not in like a smart healthy, way. In a yeah, smart yeah, way. Yeah, He's yeah. like, you need to turn on both these registers. I'm here to like be a winner. Like screaming at you yeah, in a yeah. way that he's a winner, but hasn't done anything to win except get cleared to do this fuck, like get the loan to do this fucking GNC bullshit. Right. Was, he's he's in over He's expecting head. you to be invested he's, like he is. Well, that's what's, what's, he's swimming already. Like he's already <laughs> underwater and he thinks yelling at you is going to fix oh, it. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I remember this guy's name. This guy's name was Tyson. Tyson was his name. I'm already out. Yeah, and then so was, not Tyson. No, 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 Tyson. And he was he was pretty jacked for a little dude. He was like jacked <laughs> uh, up for a little dude. Oh, he was a little and dude. And he liked me at first because I like I guess I like worked in finance and I was like kind of like kind of smart. And then I realized this job sucked. And you stopped. But he made me I, an input. That I, he I, go, I was like, I want to do like 25 hours a week. He goes, fine. He made me working 50 hours a week. And Ooh. I go. Bro, I don't want to. I, I I didn't have the heart to be like. I don't want to do this shit. It's not my life. No, I want to fucking. But he drink. should know that. That's why he's a moron. It's like no one taking the register job that opens and closes the shop is invested in being a GNC franchise owner. It's a real oh, thing. No, you know what? The best part was job. like it's like rules too. Like if someone asks for like, hey, do you, if they smoke weed or they need something to clean their system out, I'm supposed to not let them buy anything in the store. It's like a rule. What? And what I was mean? like, I didn't give it. One guy was like, hey, do you have anything to clean my, my weed? I was like, ah, no. But I was like, come on, let's go. Let's fucking, I'll check you out, buddy. Let's, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, who gives a shit? I will care. Why, would he, yeah. why did he care about that? I mean, isn't like a rule, it's like a rule of GNC. Oh, it's, it's a GNC. Because it's a franchise. Uh, they have to follow a certain they can't protocol. Be, they don't want to be known for like uh, skirting any kind of like uh, drug. When, and yeah, when they're pumping you. bullshit into your system anyways, the oh. 90% of those supplements 
are like create. Remember, we talked about creatine one time on the mm-hmm, show. Mm-hmm. I was on a lot of creatine, and it mostly just made me insane because of the sugar intake and all the other bullshit. It didn't do anything really for me, like the powdery EAS, because EAS was just a bunch of dudes on roids. Oh, okay. Like all those, like Bill Romanowski, Shannon Sharp, all those dudes were on the. The cream. The good stuff. The good uh, shit. Yeah, like the cream. steroids are yeah. so good. Oh, dude. the Barry Bonds you cream. I did a pro hormone. Really? Yeah. How was it? I fucking got huge, dude. Well, what about oh, your wow. dick? Did I, your dick No, no, falter? it was a pill. It was a pro oh. hormone pill. I went from baseball. I was 175 in my freshman year of college. And then I took this pro hormone. I came back 205. <laughs> oh, shit. But dude. how was your uh, flexibility? I was throwing and running during it, so it wasn't bad. Oh. But every, I came back and they were like, "Can you throw a baseball anymore?" Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, no, I can. I can still do that." I was, I got fucking huge, and I kind of stayed that most. That's, I was like real skinny, and I kind of stayed that size. Really? Like, I kind of like. When did you get off it? How, how long was your cycle? Oh, dude, I did no, I did like two cycles basically. Okay. Wasn't like a, I didn't get like. And how long is the cycle? How long is the cycle? Like probably like a few weeks. Well, they say oh, okay. Yeah. So like uh, so it was a couple months you were on steroids, and then it lasted for a couple years. It was a pro hormone, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we don't say the S word here. What do we do? Oh, it this hormone. goes out to the world. <laughs> the pro hormone. <laughs> so uh, Arnold did a doc on Netflix, and he yeah was he really... did a pro hormone too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he was like legit. He was like, yo, you can't. All steroids did for me was add, like, he was really honest. He said he gave me probably about a 15% edge. Mm-hmm. But overall, like, to get that size, you have to be on. Yeah, but that guy steroid. wants to do well in life. So, yeah. like, like <laughs> yeah. he's I mean, always like. But he was yeah. saying the cycles were like, okay, you do it for three months. And then you're off for three months or something. It's like a, you have to. You keep, I knew kids on the team that would literally would just do steroids in the off season every single year. Oh, yeah. And they would, and they would lose, like, 20 pounds during the season. Cause it never worked out as much. Yeah. Oh shit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, I know so many guys. My bro, my bro did steroids actually. I used to, I used to shoot him. <laughs> oh shoot shit! Right, his ass. Shoot him up. Yeah. Yeah, I shot him up a few times. Yeah, I know. How, if you guys want steroids, I can. T- no, no, I know how to do it. <laughs> I know you got to you got to put it in, and you got to draw back a little bit, and if you see a lot of bubbles, you got to up, you got to relax, and then you got to go slow. Yeah. <laughs> because when you do it in the ass, that's like the straight. Well, the ass part is this is just like. Uh, do it because it's like the less you're gonna like feel it next day. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, not gonna yeah, hurt. Yeah, it's not gonna yeah, hurt yeah. as much. Like oh, I knew the kid, injection site will be like. I knew a, little... a kid who's a pitcher and he used to shoot it right in his arm. Oh damn. Oh what an he idiot. Used to put it right in his arm. I mean, he fucking did pretty good. <laughs> but I mean, oh, wow. but at the end of the day, like professional, well, like you're doing it in sports to become a professional, right? Right. You still need a lot of talent to be a pro. Oh. You can't. Oh, just yeah. Walk yes. in. I, a lot of dudes think they're gonna do right. Five cycles of steroids, especially like, like high school Cam kids. Eddie, that guy's balls went into his body. He was yeah. on so many roids, Ooh. but like it's it does, it does help. Like Ooh. it can't make you hit a ball better. <laughs> no, it's a hand eye coordination but it just thing. Makes you go hit the ball like farther. it's like a pop fly ends up becoming it, no, a home run. no, because it's like it's like if if a ball if you hit a double if, instead of a double you're gonna hit a home run. Yeah, because a pop fly is still like you got you got you got under the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like it's like a, it's oh, gonna, oh, it depends oh, on the porch too, right? So like if you're playing in Yankee Stadium, you're a right handed hitter. Some like like Aaron Judge if he's on roids. I just oh, love that you Dude, threw porch in there. <laughs> yeah, I had to. Yeah, it's we're gonna talk baseball. Let's he's, talk baseball. The he's talking like he knows <laughs> sports here. Chris Scopo it's like, oh, yeah. it's like yeah, it depends on the porch. <laughs> yeah. You got a short porch. <laughs> I hit one opposite field off the end of the you know, bat. It's a fucking you know, dinger. The funny part is he chose the one stadium that has a short porch, and they do call it short porch in my field. Hey, yeah. I'm on brand. Yeah, there you go. You nailed it. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> So GNC is bad. I think any retail is bad, but I also think because I worked at gyms, that's another level. That's another level of bad. That's like the similar clientele, though. The too. clientele yeah, is yeah, yeah. obnoxious. Yeah, I would say in a, at a gym you're dealing with like the the bro uh, annoying bro dudes, and like as I point to Scopo, and then also like just like just fucking just women that are like just too, like. Dude, just take it down a notch, lady. It's also it's a gym. It's a gym. Relax. But you know what so I mean? Funny. Just kind of just coming it, at you, like it's so easy to talk to them. Just go up to them. But how'd you lift? Yeah. <laughs> how'd you lift? No, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking good arms. Yeah, good arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing twenty sets of buys. 
you know, stuff like it's that. It's like being at a rave and talking to a chick with like titty tassels on, and you just, if you're into that, you already have an open. It's always sex with oh, you. It, it is. always goes back, <laughs> you know. It's, it's always. <laughs> If we're talking about how to open a combo, yeah. why else are we opening yeah. any combo? What are we doing here? It's either that or a short porch. I yeah. mean, hey, if you're into baseball, what about that short porch at Yankee Stadium? Yeah. I mean, the titties, the short porch. Uh, <laughs> no, it's so easy to talk to those guys. Like people, are like they're like they have nothing in common with them. All you gotta do is ask like dumb questions. Oh yeah, yeah. and they just will go on yeah. and on about stuff. They it's love like, talking yeah. about themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Those kind of people. It's all like the what is that? How to make a millionaire make money with that book? That popular book. Yeah, just get them talking about themselves. Uh, all right. day. All they care about. That's like uh, that saves me in a lot of social situations, especially because comedians are really self-involved. As oh, we all know, I think yeah. I think you say autistic. <laughs> I, well, I mean nowadays, <laughs> yeah, but, few, but I started so long ago. People were just like that. Got into stand-up were either homeless or actually like brilliantly fucked up. Right now, there's a lot more people where I'm like, oh, are you autistic or yeah. you have Asperger's? Am I not knowing about a mental thing you have going yeah, on right, kind yeah. of thing? There's but a few comics that are tough to talk to. That oh, oh my oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I have, there's, there's one comic I feel bad, but like he lives kind of around here. And I don't Should want, we go get him? I don't, I don't want to I don't want to say his name, but like <laughs> he asked us to ride home, so I can't, I, I can't do it. Oh, so I oh can't yeah. I can't sit in the car for 45 minutes, yeah. and I, it's going to be a rough conversation. Oh, yeah. dude. It's... it's imp- you saying you were you played baseball to me like I've been in it so long. When I hear someone played sports or no sports, I'm fine. Like, oh, you're a comedian that knows about something other than anime or oh, yeah, whatever yeah, thing yeah, that yeah, people yeah, yeah. are into now, like yeah. n- Harry Potter. And I'm not hating on those things. That's great, but I am. There is an influx of people in our industry that that's all they can really yeah. relate to. That's totally outside my wheelhouse. I don't even. I I get lost though on sports though. I do this. This happens to me where I'm like I can. You're hang, a Philly guy too, which is bad news. Well, I can hang in there for a bit, mm-hmm. and then as soon as we start, I, I get I I get lost. You know what I mean? Like I get you front porch. You got me. I'm in. Yeah. Right? You start talking about like an ERA, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Numbers, with, the, like, with the Philly guys. All you gotta do is just say you want a Percocet, and then. <laughs> And then you're back in. They're back in. They're like, oh, yeah, my cousin died from Percocets. Yep. <laughs> Everyone's got a cousin who died from Percocets in Phillies, okay? I can talk about Percocets yeah, all yeah. day. What happened? Like, oh, heroin got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. Your town stinks. <laughs> <laughs> A Percocet, uh, yeah. dude. It's like it's like sports lifting and Percocets yeah, yeah. in Philly. It's all you gotta talk about with them. <laughs> Percocet, Jesus. If you run out of shit to talk about after those three uh, years, yeah, yeah. Everyone in Philadelphia, everyone knows somebody that some that has someone has a Percocet problem. Oh. I've never seen a town with more Percocet problems. What is that about? What dude, is that about it? Percocets are just fan- fantastic. Well, I, I mean, obviously, but like, what is it about Philly that I don't it's associated with? That? I have no idea because it's all I know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's where I did. I, I came up here. I never did Percocets. Yeah, my cousin Mike used to sell Percs in the park a lot of the Phillies games, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah. He used oh. to go to the link and sell Percs to the f- crowd. I mean, oh. Everyone has that like that. Yeah. yeah, dude. I was a waiter and but I was selling a, Perks. Make a mint. I was yeah. giving Perks out to like I, at uh, TGI Fridays. I would have I had like a packet full of Perks. So Perks. Yeah, everyone, like everyone, everyone knew. They would say TGI Fridays. Like, oh, is, is this Ed section? This is not Ed section. I don't want to go to Ed section. <laughs> Come the <in>. Philly Perks. <laughs> That's going to be the WNBA team. It's going to be the crowdest section the in the Philly world. Perks. Yeah. The Philly Perks. The Philly Perks. The busiest <laughs> section in the world. Everyone's every section is dry over there. GGI Fridays. <laughs> Fucking Ed's a real, he's a real talkative guy. Everyone likes him. Yeah. Yeah, he's a real down home kind of dude. He hasn't run a single fucking plate of food all night. Yeah. <laughs> when you're sitting there scratching themselves the whole time. <laughs> so Perks, they are like, they're, they're basically heroin, right? It's a, like a cheap opioid. Befo- cheaper form of heroin. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it backs up your bowels just like heroin uh, would. I guess or so. What, yeah. what, what are the things? I never it's just had a happy that pill, right? Yeah, I mean, I. I was always drinking with them, so like oh. I never had like just like a straight up opioid addiction. Uh, perks were they're just fun. Like you would just always get hey, some, hey. I he's never got, got into perks really. Yeah, they were around, around here. It was never a big perk area. Perks and Xanax. Are you? We yeah. You ever do Xanax? I'm Queens. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You ever do Xanax? I've done it, but like I've never. My we were never into that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, like recreationally, it's not a fun. Yeah, it wasn't because you know why? Big perks were big. They're big in towns where like there's nothing to do. Yeah, and stuff like that. Like by me, there's always something to do. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, you grew up in Queens. Uh, I grew up in the suburbs of Philly, dude. Yeah, there's there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Yeah, like yeah, scoring yeah. the high was the yeah. thing to do. Drinking yeah. in the woods, all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, like, I drank yeah. in parks and like around here and stuff like that. But it was never like we never get into like perks or anything like that. But even like kids that I knew from like Northeast Philly, like they didn't party the same way that suburbs kids partied. 
Like part, it was a little more uh, surprising. It's surprising to say this. A little more highbrow. A little more classy. <laughs> what your guys are or north? in Northeast Philly? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. in the city. Come on, we do. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, right. Because but they would drink at parks. We would drink in like behind uh, like a. <laughs> An abandoned oh, warehouse behind, yeah, behind right. a Wawa. Kid. Yeah. There's Tommy. He's totally. still perks. And then we would go steal from the Wawa late at night. Yeah, <laughs> there was this Wawa or a Seven Eleven that um I had my picture hanging up on the lady took my pictures. Yeah, it was wasn't it? It wasn't employee of the month. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> Anytime your photo was taken at, it wasn't positive. Every time yeah. we talk about a photo taken at, it's like his shirts off. <laughs> he's painted green. Like he always has some terrible. He has a of third degree sunburn oh, yeah, from yeah, falling yeah. asleep high on the beach. Yeah, that's a good picture. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it was like a Walkman was put on my chest while I fell asleep, so I have this third degree burn. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it was great. You can still oh, see it. I'll, show you, I'll show you later. You can still that's see pretty, it. It's yeah. pretty funny about your friends, actually. <laughs> All right. I like this one. This is a good one for comics. What? Uh, what's one of the best career comedy moments you've had where you had to go to your shitty job the next day where it was like I call it the Cinderella effect like where uh, the pumpkin you're back to a pumpkin kind of scenario uh, I mean I haven't had many highs uh, <laughs> well, it's, more of a, it's, a, it's a curve you're, you're great on a curve here think about it. <laughs> no I did the Wilbur that was fun oh, yeah, yeah that is cool okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. and then I fucking drove home and I was like oh, I gotta go work Tuesday yeah. that was, what that was, was the job do you remember I, it's a weird garbage company I work for so you went to Santa, a sanitation job after playing the Basically. The historic Wilbur Theater. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. I had to go collect garbage money. Dude, I fucking yeah. love that. And what time? You had to get up early for that too, right? No, no, no. Jobs are in the day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a garbage man. <laughs> oh. I work for the garbage company. He was collecting garbage fees. Yeah, yeah, basically. The uh, outstanding okay. checks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta okay, go. Cool. I gotta go collect that. That's fun uh, to do. Yeah, that's it. Do people amazing. give you shit for that? Uh, yeah, no one wants to pay He's, money. Yeah. Like, who wants to pay money? Especially the garbage guys. Like, you're just like, I'm gonna pay them last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No one wants to pay us. They look at me like I'm scum. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's fun. No one wants to pay ever, especially now during the during this time of year. No one wants to pay. Oh, so it's still your job now? Yeah, I'm not doing well, Ed. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> Jesus, you could have just you could just let that one go. Pass that right by. Still doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As notorious for like the thing you don't want to talk about, he fixes. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like he's not even doing it on purpose. That's something yeah. in his fucking brain. He's like, I feel like there's yeah. an uncomfortable. I'm sitting in a room with Pee Wee Herman in the background. <laughs> We're not doing well, all three of us. <laughs> Just keep yeah. poking at the fucking Jesus. <laughs> uh, I gotta go to collect garbage cash tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So when you're collecting the cash, do people try to fight you over? Or are they are you no, just a representative? It's not, okay. It's, it's not, not like not one like of those. That. Okay. Yeah, it's not like that. It's just I knew repo guys that people would like shoot at them when they oh, would show shit. Them. Oh yeah, dude. Like repo in a car. I knew no, repo, we're not, repo guys. We're not like that. Okay. There were, there were a few times that, like, me and my dad, because my dad works, works for, he doesn't own the company, he works for the company. And when, this is the funny part. At night, people just don't want to pay. Like, we would go and take people's trash from, like, the neighboring places and then just put it on top of their oh, place. Yeah. Because it's fine <laughs> if you don't, like, do it. So yeah. we just stack the trash up real high. And then the garbage guy's like, well, I'm fucking doing this. So then they get fined the next day. So they just fines keep adding up. So we have to go back and back I and just love, keep doing dude, that. Dude, don't you love the angle on that? Dude, though? that's a course. working class angle. It's, I it's love It's such a that. crazy thing to not yeah. pay the garbage guys. Like, yeah, like you don't want to. You're like the garbage guys, but dude, they they'll to they could totally fuck with you so easy. Oh, you don't mess with garbage people. No, no. like garbage. Shit. You garbage take care trucks, of the garbage guys. Garbage. Tr my dad is fun, so funny. My dad tips the garbage guys in the city at, at, his, at, his, apart, at his house apartment, at his house in Queens. Yeah. He tips them twenty five dollars every every month. And every sure, month. Oh every, wow. It's twenty for two guys. Not that much money. Uh -huh. Yeah. But like it's like it's like he, they know. Oh, he's always pick up his trash. Yeah. 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 Pick up this guy. yeah. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. he he's a sanitation guy and yeah. he knows what drives those guys. That's the best part about uh, knowing how to how to grease properly. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. a like I I have a uncle an Italian uncle who is like a business guy but he looks like a million bucks right but he knows like how to grease every single yeah. person the you right come, way to grease the, the flight attendant he would grease the flight attendant oh, now, nice. I mean not now but like in the yeah, 80s yeah, he would yeah, yeah. he knew how to grease everybody right it was oh, like a gift guy with our form a Newport in a plane he knows <laughs> he knows <laughs> like, why is that guy allowed to smoke yeah. Don't yeah. worry about that guy, all right? Yeah, There's seven vo little vodkas hey, in front of him. Hey, turn around. Hey, turn around. Yeah. You look at all those guys like, hey, 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 mind your business. Guy. Mind your business. 
Italian, <laughs> Italians, let's say, mind your business. Just mind your business, okay? And Don't if worry it's about so it. organic, you're like, all right, I guess I got to yeah. mind my business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's never forced. You're like, okay, I think I should yeah. mind my business. Yeah, I guess I, I you know what? It's but like, he just knew how to grease Greasing everyone. people is the best. Like, if oh, you know how to dude. grease someone properly, oh, it's yeah. the best. It it's feels so, great. It feels you feel good. like you did them a fa- They feel seen. The best part yeah. is that they, all this, like, woke shit, like, I felt seen. If someone heard my plight, and I now now I feel seen. That's what Greason was. It was like, hey, I'm gonna. I, I gave that guy a saw buck. Mm-hmm. I let him know mm-hmm. we're good. All that shit was making that person feel so appreciated for Can their job. Give a five to like a, a, a parking attendant, and on the way in, on the way in is the best. Yeah, it's like hey, here's his five. Make sure it's close. Something yeah. Like oh that. yeah. And like oh yeah. Sure. No yeah. Problem. Yeah. Just kidding. now it's fun because inflation. It's a ten. That's what I, it, yeah, and yeah. I can't afford well, that. So, yeah, that's what I was about to say is like my, I'm on the flip side of like where I always feel like I just got took. Like I'm greasing too much. Oh. Like I'm not greasing. I never, I don't have like that feeling like, oh, I got taken care of. I feel like I got took. This is actually a good episode to talk about greasing because it's the, the holidays and I got to like grease a bunch of people in my building. Yeah. Who I just got to grease. I got to grease my super. Got to grease the super. I'm going to, I always take care of the super. Super. Uh, I got to, I'm going to grease my garbage guy. I'm gonna grease the, the garbage guy. guy. The porter. It's, it's like a porter, right? Well, or he has guy. a he has an assistant, so okay. he's like the the second porter the second who does guy. the garbage yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. I'm gonna grease yeah. him a little mm-hmm. bit, a little Package bit less. Package guy. Package guy is the, is the big one. So I, he the super does all that. So I kind of roll that all into one grease. Uh, but I gotta grease the daycare people for my kid. Yo, you definitely have to do yeah. that for sure. But that's what happens. I mean, do you though? Because if they kill the kid, I mean, it's on them. What? Well, it's more about no, like it's like if he if gets, he gets hit yeah. or if like. Oh. You know, if I say it's more about when it comes time, like if he gets a diaper rash, make sure you check on him more. Yep. And if they go, yeah, he greased me, you know, 50 bucks. Or if you're late picking him up for whatever. It's just just, just, I'm buying a little goodwill. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got you got you got about a four or five hundo coming out. I, no, I'm dying oh, right dude, now, dude. dude I was like, telling him in the last episode, I'm ready to cash my coins in. Yeah. I'm trying to find a coin yeah. star so I can grease all these people. Dude, I was up last night doing the tips for the guys in the garage. So I have this garage. We talked about this last week, but like, uh, I have the uh, garage guys. They don't. I can't just tip like a set amount to the manager and say spread it out. They're like, yeah, no, we like when you do it individual. Oh yeah, because the manager's gonna fucking hide the whole thing. Yeah, right. So it's like twelve guys. I gotta break this down. Yeah, but you gotta go different times too. I know. Yeah. I, I, I know. See that? That I don't like that. That's it's figure like, it out. Make it like, easy for me to grease yeah, you. It's like work. Seriously. But nah, I'll tell you but what. But you I, know what though? You want the one-on-one interaction. No, no, you're handshake. right. That's a good point. That's, that's, that's a good what point. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. When I did it today, because I hit two guys today, I hit them and they were like, uh, "No, you're all right. right. Yeah, you're all right, Eddie. You're all right." Yeah. Every time I go to like a deli, like a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like you tip at the deli. I make sure I hold the dollar until they turn around. Hell yeah. Oh, oh no, yeah. no. It's, I want Always. them to know because especially yeah. like a coffee shop that I'm in every day, I want them to know every time this guy's here, yeah. he's taking care of us all the time. Yeah, I don't you need to have be. The, you got to have, hey, I did this because they don't know. Yeah. They're doing their shit. And yeah, I don't need to be an anonymous tipper. That's. <laughs> but you also live in the Heights, which I don't know if it's similar to Queens, but Queens, it's like I got a I got a coffee shop down here that's uh-huh. ran by all Greeks, and uh-huh. I got the Silvaki truck, all Greeks. Oh yeah, the Silvaki truck, right? It's great. They fucking know, and they'll they'll let you go in front of other people when they see you. Oh, they'll yeah, be like, yeah, hey, yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah. same thing, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And they and people get pissed because there'll be someone from the city that wants to try the Silvaki King. Yeah. And yeah. if you read the comments, they get five stars across the board, but it's like, but they let their friends go. No, because we grease them. That, yeah. We're the neighborhood people. Yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah. Silvaki guys, you got to give a couple, couple oh. dollars every time. Oh, every oh, time. You, you got to yeah. go, hey, it's for you boys. Yeah, yeah, it's for yeah. For the boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the for the boys. Let's, let's be real. There's no women in the back of that truck. <laughs> how it's supposed to be, okay? <laughs> how, how the Lord intended it, okay? <laughs> For the boys back there. My son, I make my son wave to him. He yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh I bring I my love dog. My son. I bring my dog. And they go, oh, he want well, yeah, cheap for the dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah. They, they love him. He's getting dog. a full shawarma. Oh, <laughs> they, they, bull- love oh they, they love it. They, they love it. It's an extra plate for the dog. I love yeah, the that. The boy, the, the truck over here, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's the best truck. That's that's my boys over there. Savaki yeah, King. Yeah, they are. They're good. I uh, I think a lot of people miss miss that part of life where you're like, oh, I, I was doing this thing where I was talking on stage with somebody and I'm like, man, I'm not a fan of ma- the, the masses, but I am, I am a fan of my neighborhood. Like I want to make a difference in my community mm-hmm. and I want to be involved in it. But overall, like people as a whole, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of them. No, I, th- I think that we should lose 70 to 75% of people. Yes. Yeah. Dude, like, they need way, to go. Like way just go somewhere people. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be yeah. gone. Just walk into the water. Just keep going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, I can't stand people. And it's yeah. not that I'm a, as much of a curmudgeon as 
you know, oh, maybe this guy's like a grump. It's not that. It's like every single day I'm seeing more and more reasons why we need to be separated. I think if you complain about something, you need to go. Stop complaining. Just live your life. Like, like yeah. Brooklyn can go. <laughs> Except like like Bay Ridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the good parts, you know? <laughs> Let's be real. The fun parts of Brooklyn where you can speak your mind. Um, that could stay. But the Brooklyn, the Bushwick can just go. I have a, I'm trying to do a new joke about it. Like, I was raised to never go to Bushwick. Like, right. even now I tell my mom, I'm like, I have a show in Bushwick. She goes, be careful. Yeah, it's right. not a good area. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I'll see fucking white women just walking. I'm like, I want to yeah. fucking push them for like, just to keep your head on a swivel. Don't be fucking, don't, I, I didn't, I didn't grow up with that like luxury of you're going to be, you'll be safe. Yeah. Do you I, think also, dude? I used to get drugs in Bushwick, dude. Like, like good. No, no. Like, but this that is interesting like that Chris hardcore. is talking about this because yeah. I feel like sometimes I say shit like that, like we're, what we're talking about now, and people are like, "Oh, well, what's the, you know?" In the like about four or five years ago, people were like, "Whoa, what do you mean? You know, you people, why, why, why isn't it good that you know people have that luxury?" I am like you, very perturbed by the lack of consequence. Uh, that yeah. some people yes. live with. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's yes, very yes, irritating yes. to me. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I but to your point. Yeah, just don't be like hammered at two thirty in the morning in deep Brooklyn and be like, oh no, I'm fine. You yeah. should be not. You should be you scared. Sh- yes. It's like you know what I say. Like when, when, when it, if I went to like a Phillies game and I was wearing a Mets shirt, I should be scared. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should be a little should be sober. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, if Stay I, sharp. If I know where I'm going, I'm walking to the Lions then, I'm gonna make sure the Lions that around and I'm feeding it. You stretch. You stretch. You're bringing a flask to make friends around you yeah, you got yeah, a yeah. joint like you're trying to you know I, went, to do. So I went to a Phillies playoff game I have a Mets shirt underneath I didn't tell anybody that but I wore the shirt <laughs> to know that they knew that I was sure I was there but I was you like want to rap I was, you don't want to disrespect I was also like <laughs> high-fiving people too because I was like the guy gave me high fives I was like well I'm not gonna not high five this fucking lunatic right now I was like, yeah, sure, go Phils. And in the back of my head, I was like, hope they die. I hope they die. <laughs> but like, I, I knew, keep my head, keep, be my, you know, just make sure That's I'm That's okay. such a great analogy, too, because as a, a San Diego, San Diego Chargers fan going to a Raiders game, oh. you would get stabbed. Yeah. Just like yeah. Dodgers, Giants, where people get like, can cost. I mean, they they killed a guy in the parking lot once. I mean, oh, they're wow. insane. Damn. Yeah. yeah. If you I'm, know what you're doing. If I'm going to like a, like if I was ever going to like a Phillies game, I would make sure I'm with friends too. Yeah. Yo, be a group. Got, you got to go. With, I'm not gonna walk in with me and a girl. Yeah. And no. a Mets <laughs> shirt on. <laughs> She's wearing like, like the half, like the hot <laughs> Mets yeah. in her little Mets hat. It's like I'm literally. <laughs> there's you. <laughs> yeah. I'm walking to the Lions then. I'm literally giving the Lion treats the whole time, going, "Hey, do you want to bite me? Do you want to bite me? Do you want to bite me?" <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm gonna get bit by one of these fucking and pieces you're up of in shit. The cheap seats where the security can't oh, get no, to. No, 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 no. First of cheap all, I was, dangerous. I was down below because yeah. we had I, we got hooked dangerous. up with tickets. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if I was upstairs, wow. I would go full oh, yeah. Philly fanatic uniform. Yes. <laughs> I would wear the, the whole just, outfit. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'm from the water. I want, <laughs> uh, go birds. And, if you're ever bombing in Philly, just end the joke. Go birds. And they're like, yeah, go birds. Go birds. Fucking <laughs> pieces of shit down there. Honestly, did you? I love how like you came in with so much fury against Philly. Oh, I love it for the breakup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all the breakup, sweetheart. <laughs> Fuck, I was actually enjoying your city for the last five months. Now I know. Last I, time I saw you, you were like, dude, you know, Philly's nice. No, no, no. no. <laughs> just, I hope one giant Percocet takes you all out. Honestly. <laughs> I hope a band back. I hope fentanyl gets into your Percocet system. It takes out half. Regular sex with someone you like fucking would make any city. You know what? This Chernobyl place isn't too bad. bad. Not bad. Not bad. You know, it's It's kind of rustic. No, I was like, I swear to God, let's have a smell in the air. Let's have a smell. We got some good people. (laughs) (laughs) Some good eggs down there. I want you guys to. I hope a nuke. I hope a nuke just reroutes from New York into Philadelphia. (laughs) Just takes you out. You know, no one's nuking Philly. No one gives a fuck about Philly (laughs) in Afghanistan. (laughs) I was gonna shit about Philadelphia. I love it. I just love at any like I, anytime I've ever had a girl that I loved to be with, and the minute she fucked me over, it was like anything associated with her. I hated Colorado for like fifteen years. I mean, it's real. I hated Colorado for fifteen years. The worst part was I hated Philadelphia to begin with because they have rivals of all my sports teams. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm dating this girl. This is nice. I went to a couple games. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you just, you just That's what hurts. Well, you're pieces of shit, but you're nice pieces. Yeah. You I, gave, you I opened a- my heart up to yeah. the city. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. And I opened my soul to the, and I, 
I even I, so I swear to God, I was the day before the Phillies game. I went to the Phillies play. I I I, I, re, I drove by the Shea uh, City Field, and I was like, "Hey guys, I, I'm, I'm not cheating on you." I swear to God, I like, was talking to the te- the, the stadium. <laughs> talking to the stadium. I was talking to the stadium like I was playing I, New York State of Mind. And I go, and now I walk back. I go, "Yo, you know what? I should never trust that whore." And <laughs> it's just the whole time, the whole city. Everything's a whore nowadays. Uh, I said okay. that, that that's what the, that's what the Mets fans they, they, they're doing that to me. They're going, "See, you, you went. You, that's what you get. You dated the." Girl. Other girl, yeah. that's what you get. You, you should have been loyal to us the whole time. Yes, uh-huh. yeah, good. Yeah, good. I like how you. you said you had the Met shirt on underneath so that they knew. <laughs> He's like, no, no, I just swear to God. I swear to God, I had to. I, He's like, so they knew. Who knew? I texted, I texted Pavone. I go, I had this shirt like this. And I had the, I had the Mets shirt. I swear Six the Mets layers. Oh, I had 17 layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they were going to beat me up, that's the last thing they're going to find. <laughs> you know. Mets fan, I knew it. And I had the Mets shirt on it because they knew. I want to make sure they knew. <laughs> to make sure they know. You know what's so funny? So I'm at the game, right? And the one guy before, he's, try, he's trying to give high fives. I go, bye, I can't do it. He goes, what are you, a Diamondbacks fan? I go, no, I got worse. He goes, you're a Met fan? And I go, yeah. He goes, oh, okay. And then I was giving high fives for a while, but then you started losing the game. Yeah. And then the guy started telling everybody, he goes, don't touch this guy. He's ruining the team. <laughs> yeah. He's, we're getting oh, his messitis from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, I was like, I swear to God, but the, like the seventh inning, I was like, everyone knew he was a Met fan. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get my ass kicked right now. <laughs> that guy of the wave, the whole stadium. It's yeah. Like, it's getting around. There's one to me, Mets yeah. Fan. Thank I God. would have to say though, if you were uh, Phillies fans, Phillies game's not as nearly as bad as an Eagles no, game. But we also if you were in an Eagles game and you were wearing like a no, no, I oh, dude, dumb. That is no, like, I wouldn't do that. No. Yeah, yeah I like I would that. root. I would. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hit anybody. I would not stop. No, oh, you would be. I would. You would talk shit while he was getting beat up. Oh yeah, I mean, You're like that's good what for you him. Get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Come here, you come yeah. to Philly. No, that's what you get. I'm full. I'm full. If you wear another. Per, uh, uh, team stadium into I'm, the opposing stadium. Just yeah. be aware. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just might, be mindful. And also, like, don't. You might get a beer thrown at you. Yeah. Just accept it. I You're a accept, bad guy wrestler at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Accept the fact that you're walking into the lines. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's not. Yeah. Hey, you want to walk out? Don't do shit. Like when I go to hockey games, it's usually pretty like uh, civil, unless we're playing uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, you guys hate each other. Oh yeah. man. And then, oh, dude, I forgot about this. So I'm at the Garden. I, I was just moved up to New York. I go to a Flyers-Rangers uh, game at the Garden. There's a couple of just dirtbag Flyers fans fucking parading around <laughs> the third tier with a big Flyers, like, uh, uh, banner. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, you just see, you know, from across the way, the banner goes away, and it's just a tussle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, you know what it is? Up, upstairs in the garden, oh, is, they're white guys, but they're white guys that are like firemen. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they're Staten not Island. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. not classy white guys, you know? Oh, yeah. And they don't work in finance, and they got a couple of tickets from the boys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is a father-son thing, and it's like, that's up. That's, that's the other thing. Mind your business up that's there. That's generational yeah, yeah, yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah, get yeah. to the upper, they haven't won since 94. They've been through a lot of pain. <laughs> You know, they're, they're yeah, they've struggling. been sitting up there since 94. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was three years old, 94 happened. So it was so good because my reaction was like, well, what they think was going to happen? I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean, you're up top. Don't the go garden. to the cheap yeah. seats and start talking shit. Anywhere. Anywhere cheap seats. No, I, yeah. I, what about that dude? If it was the Phillies or the Eagles where that guy in Chicago where he went to catch the ball. Do you remember that years ago? Uh, he Bartman? The, he, Steve Bartman? Yeah, where he had the shit on his head. He dies, right? Because yeah. he almost died in no, Chicago. Ruins I mean, the game? No, I no, don't. because you know what? Like a lot of people did that too. Yeah, I think that guy. That guy got fucked because a lot of people would have did that. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot like, of Moises people... Alou didn't make his case either. Moises Alou really Moises made it Alou hard. Moises Alou made, he it, made it hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think anybody would have. Uh, I don't know because like when Mitch Williams uh, back in the nineties. Oh, when he the, gave up that homer. The yeah, Joe he gave Carter. up that homer. He had to move. He was living. <laughs> He was living in Bucks County, and people were driving by, just like just trashing his house. Molotov cocktails. Yeah, 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 yeah. He oh, had to move. Dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so also, wild. he got blamed. Barbin got blamed because, like, also the like the next play, the shortstop made an error. Oh yeah, and yeah everyone like, forgets about the shortstop making yeah, yeah, a huge yeah. error. It's like, did you screw you yourself? Could be, you could have yeah. won the game yeah. still. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was the game. The game, yeah. Maybe because your fucking team was not good. <laughs> right. I don't know. And then uh, that guy got that guy that guy got royally fucked. Oh, and I think he's also someone that. Probably had Asperger's, but it's in the era where no one knows. Yeah, like that, that was, he with was, the weird things on his. He was listening to the headphones. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the long, he had like right. a like a button down, like a. 
had like a collared shirt underneath the jersey. Did like he, he get was... escorted out to the security? Oh yeah, they did a thirty for thirty on him. They didn't do anything, and then uh-huh. after a while, they like escorted him out. Yeah, yeah. he was sitting yeah. there, and people were like throwing shit at yeah, him. Right. Oh, in the Midwest, they're so nice. Yeah, yeah they're so nice <laughs> yeah. in the Midwest. They make a guy move. <laughs> they're great he people. Even, he was so scared he wouldn't even be interviewed for the doc. Yeah, he was a teacher. He left the the school. I hate the whole that uh, all the eagle then like the Philadelphia, New York is just mean people. It's like you made a guy move. Yeah. Well, Chicago was the nicest people in the world. They made someone move. Oh, They're yeah. not good. Everyone sucks everywhere. Yes. Yes. I agree. I People are sp- like uh, talking about Philly sports fans being the worst. Dude, I was in Pittsburgh. Dude, we're, we're visiting Pittsburgh for a wedding. We go up to uh, this. They have those little lifts that go up to the, like the top of the mountain like where you can lift? see. It's like a little like uh, what are those gondola? called? Gondola. Gondola. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I, I nice. you wouldn't know fancy words like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not in the Philadelphia yeah, system. God, I'm like, it's God, a lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's like a little lift. You learn that in the Philly PA public schools. <laughs> <laughs> so we go up and we're like, you get a nice view of the city. It's real nice. And as we're coming down, the, uh, the fucking Three River Stadium or whatever it's called now comes into view. And there's a guy in the back who just could not control himself. He just goes, go Steelers! <laughs> no one's playing empty stadium. Yeah. <laughs> just the middle of the night. And I look back, and he's with his whole family. <laughs> yeah. I see those guys, and I'm like, what do they have going for them? I mean, they, work at the, they work at the fucking the mill, probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they see the stadium, they get hard. Yeah. The wife doesn't make them hard anymore. <laughs> wife hasn't hard. made them hard anymore since Frank O'Hara got knocked out in the 94 series. Like, what, what the <laughs> fuck, Swan? Yeah. Right into the Chevrolet yeah, yeah. that was parked in the end zone. <laughs> no one gets him hard watching Ben Roethlisberger reach for a touchdown. <laughs> it's like, I get it. He has nothing going on in his life. And he sees the stadium and he goes, oh, one day I'll get tickets. Uh, <laughs> one day I'll get tickets. <laughs> they have nothing. And that, the towns that have nothing... You just like yeah. I get it. Like yeah. I, this is what this is what drives you in life. Yeah, this is everything for yeah. you. Yeah, like, in New York. Like we get, we have a lot of shit going on here. Yeah, like I. Right. There are times like I'm like I'm like I'll be watching a Met game. Like I didn't know baseball was going on. It's the middle of summer. Like I get people. People people are realize they have a lot going on in the mm-hmm. city. Same like the Giants and the Jets. There's a lot of eight, but like in Philly and Pittsburgh, that's all they have. Yeah. It's but I, one thing I realized when I was down there wasn't that whore. And um, <laughs> that like, everybody in the city is for one team, which I kind of wish that we had here. Yeah, you don't have that here, right? No. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. trade off is like you said, it's because there's nothing there. Yeah, no, but he's saying like everybody's split. Like, no, no, two I know. Teams, right? Yeah, like, yeah, so- but but you're like if you're a f- if you live in Philly. You're a fucking Phillies Eagles fan. There yeah. is no debate. Yeah, yeah. There's no debate. No like debate. I'm from San Diego, where I'm a diehard. I the, I felt the way about the Chargers and the Padres growing up as you did about the Phillies and Eagles. Yeah. I was diehard because I was from there. My family was from there, but no one else was. So it was a transient city. Uh, no one had yeah. loyalty to the yeah. team. So you were always like, it was every fucking home game felt like an away game. Because now, let me ask you a question. Be like, no one respects California in like the Northeast. No, like we we don't respect your fandom. Nothing. No, do you guys it's awful. Even, like, yeah. Do you guys like have that out there? Chargers like, did. If like he's like if you like oh, I'm a Chargers fan, I'd be like oh where are you from? Not uh, San Diego. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's like we don't respect anything out in California. You shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all it because the sun has fucked the whole state. Unlike like Florida is its own trash, right? You right. can be like a Florida Marlins fan and you're from Florida. They have their own mascot, that dude. California, because of like Hollywood and the weather and the beaches and the tax, the taxes you pay there. Mm-hmm. People that move there are not ever from there. It's always either someone that went on a vacation and decided to move there after the vacation, or they're there because of your pharmaceutical job. No yeah. one's there because yeah, right. they're born and raised. Like I'm a born and raised San Diegan. I'm like a third generation San Diegan. It's like a thing, but there's like very few of us. Interesting. You yeah, shouldn't yeah, respect yeah, us. Yeah, you yeah, no one respects you guys. No. Here. Yeah. It's and terrible. we lost a team. How do you fucking yeah. lose a team? Yeah, yeah, when you lose a team, it's tough. I'll tell you what. In a city like that, the I, tenth largest city in America, what would happen if, if like the Philadelphia Eagles moved? Like, dude, the, that's first of all, dude, they my heart be, yeah. just kind of skipped a little right? bit when you said that. I was like, I don't know what I would. I do, tried dude. to follow them. I couldn't do it. Yeah, that's no, how broken he, my heart was. Dude, like, I couldn't do yeah, it. There'd be riots in the streets of Philadelphia. Oh yeah, in the streets of New York, there'd be riots. No one in San Diego knew. Ten people knew, and they're all related to me. Yeah, yeah. Look at the fucking people still walk around wearing Dodgers hats. Yeah, the Dodgers have left fifty years ago. Oh yeah, Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Brooklyn. But the, yeah, I didn't yeah. know what you were saying at first. Like, <laughs> no, but what I'm about? saying is, like, in New York, like, if a team leaves. Like, no, I know yeah. people that are, like, Dodger fans from, like, their grandfather was a yeah. Dodger fan. Yeah. Like, my grandfather was a Dodger fan, too, and they left, and he's like, he couldn't, back in the day, you couldn't really track him. Only, like, oh, only yeah, diehards yeah, yeah, really yeah, could right. track him. Yeah, he can't, even yeah. the radio didn't pick him up. Yeah, so, like, he was like, well, 
I think he had a life or something. He's like, I'm not going to read the newspaper every day and figure out what the Dodgers did. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not going to be a Yankee fan. I hate the Yankees. <laughs> so he waited life. until the Mets just came. And that, oh, that's how he awesome. became a Mets fan. Yeah. Yeah. Mets fan. Like, were, I love the Mets. See, I'm a Mets guy now. Okay, relax. Um, <laughs> I've been here 13 years, so I'm a Mets guy. No, no, no. See, that's the thing. You can't come here and be a Mets guy. You don't I believe. lived through it. Hey, hey, were you here in 94 when they lost 115 <laughs> games? No, you weren't. You weren't. You didn't go through that. You didn't go through the, They, the, they had the most money ever fan. payroll this year, and we suck. I know. That was painful. Okay? Okay? This year was painful. go through the pain that I go through. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Okay? I don't doubt that. I, well, this week with the Mets, don't get Yamamoto. I'm going to go into a shell. I'm gonna go into, I told my boy, I go, you got to check on me when they Mets don't get Yamamoto. It's going to be brutal for me. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm already expecting them to not get this picture. And I'm, I'm going to lose myself. I'm going to lose I it. I know what I was walking into. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Uh, We're right here. I, I, people come here and like, oh, I don't want it. They come here and like, oh, I'm not going to be a Yankee fan. I'll just be a Mets fan. It's like, no, 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 no. I want that. you here. <laughs> There's going to be 25 people at the parade, and everyone's going to love it. We're going to love it. <laughs> My cousin coached for the Mets uh, two years ago. And I, I just told like, me this. Yeah, 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 I really fell in love. Oh, I, nice. I mean, living yeah. in Queens, too, I love the Mets. I'm yeah, just, sure. You know, okay. And they lose. I like. I don't like that they lose, but it feels like I'm not being a bandwagon. Well, right. You're like a you're I want to see them win. Team, absolutely. But it's hard yeah, to yeah, support yeah. a team that spent that much money and didn't win. You're oh, like, no, oh, no. hard to support shit. a team? Really? <laughs> was it you? hard? I mean, how much I hype imagine. I got? I mean, I don't get hard anymore by women. <laughs> I get hard by Steve Cohen's payroll. That's what I get hard by. You know what's so funny about this? Yo, I swear to God, I was talking to my mom like a couple years ago, and she's like, yeah, the recession's coming. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. And she's like, well, you were nervous about your life? I go, no, what if Steve Cohen loses money? <laughs> like, then he can't afford the payroll anymore. I go, I go, we can't afford a team anymore. What if Steve Cohen goes, business goes out of reach? I don't give a fuck about myself. I care if this guy in the recession is going to hit this guy. If this billionaire can yeah. continue to make billions. Yeah, yeah, can he make billions? <laughs> So we can get the players that we need to he's, win. He's not gonna start trading away the team. Yeah, so I, I swear to God, Steve, I, had, I was going nuts. I'm I go clean house, ma. The inflation's gonna kill him. Everyone uh, wants the Florida tax breaks. Yeah, he's watching. Him. The Fed is increasing the tax break. I know. I, go, no, I, go, I hope he's smart enough to know to hide some billions in an account somewhere. So the team can make money. That's how much I care about this team. If they win, though, that when they win and lose, it affects you, right? Oh yeah, well, yeah emotionally. Yeah, yeah, obviously. yeah. Yeah, yeah the, when it used they to ruin my week when the Chargers, like in 06, where we had our best shot to ever win a Super Bowl it, when they lost that divisional to New England off of a fucking fumbled punt and a pick that they had fumbled they picked off Brady and they fumbled it inside of their own 20 Ugh. the fucker Marlon McCree Marlon McCree and this other fuckhead they killed me. I I was I almost called out of work for a full week. <laughs> I needed the money bad. Yeah. Like I was on uh, I almost couldn't pay my rent. I, that I, upset. I, the this year, I kind of got used to it by August because I'm used to them losing. Right. Well, when they win the, win the playoffs that like, couple years ago, that like, that broke me. Dude, yeah. that broke me hard. Isn't it like, crazy oh. how like sport like do you like for days? Like, why am I in such a bad mood? By the way, if you have any women listen to this podcast, they don't anymore. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't give like what are these people talking about? These three losers in a room about sports right now. This guy couldn't pay his rent in 06 when the guy fumbled the ball. I'm talking about <laughs> inflation, but for the Steve Cohen's way. Yeah, we got a lot of problems here. Yeah. Talking about fucking Percocets. <laughs> it's what uh, brutal. <laughs> what are you, uh, comedy wise? What's like? What are you working on now? Anything that? Oh, you know, I'm working to try to get famous, right? And uh, that's all there it's, is. It's slowly taking its way. Yeah, awesome. Uh, no, nothing. I just work. I'm, I'm going to do an album. I, don't, I want to do an album in Queens, but I need to fucking get find a good, a, area. a good venue, right? Yeah, because I want to do. I'm from, so I'm from here, so I want to do it like in Queens. Yeah. yeah. Just the the venues I've looked at are not the best for shooting. Yeah. So and also your sound, right? I mean, if it's not a comedy venue, you have to find place that actually has good. You can because the album itself, you're gonna put out oh, the audio. Yeah, as yeah, well. as well. So I gotta, you have to figure that out. There's, Queens needs more like comedy places. Why and why is that? Why can't we get anyone out here? I know QED. I know what it is. I think it's mostly because people that are, people like are they're from Queens. Oh. So like they don't want to. Like, people that are from Brooklyn, they're like, let's go out tonight. Let's yeah. Do, they don't, uh, they don't, they don't, yeah. Yeah. People in Queens. We don't can't do get shit. Queens people out in Queens. Yeah. Right. It's like the only time they go out is to go to the city. Right. It's so hard to get them out to yeah. a comedy show it's, around it's, here. It's, it's tough. Yeah. Because they're all like they work a union job. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not. Mm -hmm. It's just trying to get get by. Every what day. part of Queens do you want to do it in? If in a perfect world, around here. Okay. I would want to do it around, around Astoria. Here. Yeah, yeah, around Astoria. Um, I just yeah, it's just trying, It's tough to find. I might might have to do it in the city, but I I'd much rather do it in Queens. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Awesome.
Mm-hmm. Plug where you're at. Let everyone know. My Instagram, at Chris Gopo. I do a Living In series. I'm all over. Philly took off. The uh, Instagram really, the Instagram yeah. series is hilarious. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I yeah love it's great, it. man. Philly really took off on that. I didn't think that was going to happen. That's my most liked video. Oh, is it? Yeah, my oh, most cool. viewed and most liked one. You guys really... Like, like to argue. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like to argue in the comments. It's Let me time. tell you. It's a good time. It's a good time. I didn't even go with my other job. That was I used to work on Broadway, too, as an usher. Oh, shit. So I saw so many stars. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. The, and the, the best part was, like, Irving Berlin used to own the theater. Uh-huh. And in his will, it was it was his will that only men can work there. So it was like a... It was like a fucking dude factory. It was awesome. It was all like bros. <laughs> they were all, the they all were ushers. seating people, dude. Dude, we used to get hammered in between shows. You get good tips. You get grease well. To, no, no, we but never get bought. Right? We never so. get. We never get tips. I, I, I can count on one finger, like the one hand, the amount of times I got tips. Yeah, no one ever tipped me, but uh, we didn't give a fuck. We, dude, yeah. we used, we, used to, we were the only theater to wear all black because that was in his will. It was Irving, but all black and only men. That's wild. And Whoa. yeah. And, uh, and that still exists today. No, they sold the theater back in like, 2010, uh, and then okay. the fucking broads came in, <laughs> and they changed the shirts up, and the broads came in. <laughs> uh, but it was so dude, it was we had like we had this like area downstairs underneath the theater, and it was like a, cha- it was, like, a locker room basically. We used to drink during the show. That's the best <sighs> drinking at work. Drinking during the uh, show. We used to go out awesome. afterwards after the show in the yeah. city. Drink during. The- we used to play cards multiple uh, times. We were playing cards. Were you and- union? Yeah, we were union. Oh, dude. We play cards. We were so loud that the, they heard us on during the play. Oh, dude. dude, they used to come down like, guys, can you quiet down a little bit? <laughs> what? What kind of plays were you, were you working for? Like, oh, what, dude, what any th- big ones? Some, some pretty big plays. Talk about them. No, I can talk about them. The vertical hour was there. Julian, I almost ran over Julianne Moore. <laughs> with what? My, my body. Oh, it's like all right, so. He's At- like running in with two six packs. Like, get out of the way. No, so she's like. She's so small. She's small, but she's actually a, one of the nicest human beings in the oh, world. I bet. She's so sweet. I bet she's super sweet. So, yeah, yeah. like, we can't. So, like, during the. During the there was a point in the play where she had to go run down and come back another entrance to the stage. And during the. For the people that are ushering, there's eight people working, right? Four get to leave right away once the show starts. Okay. And during that day, the boss, like, made us go out, like, two minutes earlier than normal. So. I'm walking. She. I'm walking down this way, and I don't know that she's coming this way. And I have my back turned this way, and I'm walking down, talking to the guys behind me, and she's walking in this way. And I just bump right oh. into her <laughs> during the play, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm so." I thought you were gonna fire me. Yeah. I thought I was gonna get fired yeah. the next day. Yeah. yeah. Thank God she was like, "Don't worry about it. It's fine." Yeah. And she got up next, and she ran. I was like, "Oh my god, I was fucking knocked over." The lead actress <laughs> of the play. <laughs> um, I met mad people there. I sat Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh. Uh, guy. I just love that like he's banging into Juliana Moore as he's like talking about the hats. Mess. Yeah, no, no, I was, I was. <laughs> hey, you see I the know, fucking you those Piazza's fucking... got to start this stuff. Come on, <laughs> Piazza's got to be there. He's a lifer. <laughs> he's a lifer. <laughs> Dude, I remember we used, to, we used to gamble at one time. All right, so this is the funniest thing in the world. Uh, this is we used to gamble, right? And when you were out of money, you could bet cockroaches. A cockroach was basically you had to go. In the middle of the of the of the way when you're seating somebody, you had to go and you had to go pretend you were dead like a cockroach like this, you go like that, <laughs> and like I had on I your lo- back on your you had to go on your back and be dead like a cockroach like, the, like that. <laughs> oh, dude, and I, I, I had a I had a good hand. I'm like I'm gonna bet a cockroach that's that money, but I was like I, I'm definitely winning this hand. I fucking lose the hand, <laughs> and the guy gets to choose whenever you get to do it. You have to do the cockroach, and he gets to choose when at one period. It was a fucking full house, and he goes, you're doing a cockroach right now. Oh. And someone's coming, walking up, and thank God they were like a young couple. Yeah. And I go, I'm sorry. I got to do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got to risk I, my job and livelihood. I, yeah, I get it all fours, and I go, I'm a cockroach. I'm a cockroach. I'm a cockroach. <laughs> and they're, look, they're standing there looking at me, and the guy goes, you lose a bet. I go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can, you can follow me at Josh Ricardo. Go to joshricardo.com. And go. Follow me at Abigail Comedy, Abigail.com. Email us at workingclasscomedians at Gmail. We'll see you guys again soon. Happy holidays. Have a happy new year. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 